What's good, everybody? Dark and Windy back at it again with another video. As you can see on my screen, no, that is not a bootleg missing no. Well, actually, it kind of is a bootleg missing no. I apologize in advance. But we're continuing our trek through uh, Generation 2, aka the Kilo region. And we're continuing on with Virubic, as you can clearly see. As you can see at first glance, yes, it is like missing no. I apologize for that. Now this this was back in the day. It was when um, it was when I was just uh, kind of I wanted to do stuff, and I saw other videos about it, and like other faking my videos and stuff like that. And I wanted to have something of my own, so and about missing no and stuff like that. So I did. Um, yeah, I'll probably end up revamping this like well not revamping this this is the last revamp i may end up changing the design so that it doesn't look too much like Mystino because Mystino is such a staple and official pokemon and i'm not trying to do like that for my stuff so yeah it'll probably end up changing uh the original ones yeah you can already guess how the original ones kind of look yeah pretty much just missing missing no blocks and stuff yeah yeah, let's go on to Virubic 2, the antivirus Pokemon. Now, it's pretty much like you can see that it has a uh, Ionot shape that's on purpose because the way it evolves is you have to like it's kind of convoluted. You have to trade it while holding an upgrade, trade Virubic while holding an upgrade, and then level it up with Ionite in your party. So essentially. <clears throat> This line uses Porygon's evolution items to kind of do things that are better. But overall, it's like, it's kind of hard to explain because, like, I, like I've said before, again and again, none of this stuff is correlated with actual Pokemon. This is just like a, I just use this to categorize and put everything together for them because I wanted to do it like a bulbapedia s thing so I just used like the I just used like the items and things like that to, in place of stuff that could probably change it like instead of an upgrade it'll obviously be something else instead of a dubious disc it'll probably be, it'll pretty much be something else so a lot of the stuff that you see and everything will probably it probably won't really matter it's just play just consider them placeholders for other items that that would happen in the in the world if this was real anyway so yeah next up is starvine now starvine starvine another another thing about starvine is that uh kind of like leaf real it, at some point starvine was a starter so yeah this guy was once a starter hence why his name is starvine like start vine so, it has, and it has like the one on its chest as a remnant of that. It's still the, like that was always an integral part of its design. Uh, and it has the one vine. And it's kind of like based off of like vine whip. Like it's just based off of vine whip in general. Uh, mid mo, Yep, like middle stage mo, uh, Two. Two here. Two vines. Yep. Pretty much same deal. It's based off of vine whip and some kind of animal a ring-tailed cat apparently I don't know I don't know about all that that was that'll end up changing most likely we'll go to ambush now ambush uh, the yeah the end in stage bush uh, three vines there's there's three lines on this center plant but you can't see it because of the way it's facing but yeah um, I think the I think I'm not sure if these are the only, the only ones, the only artworks for these guys, but I will see. So I can nope. Okay, not for Starvine, Midmo. No, and Ambush. Let's go down. Okay, so it's remotely the same, just better artwork. All right, so yeah, the this line, this line was originally going to be a starter 
for one of the regions. I don't. I, I think it was going to be the original starter for Kilo before uh, Limbatar took over. But yeah. Next up we have Zenchar, the Heat Pokemon. So it's pretty much based off of what Heatran is based off of, volcanic remains, things like that, lava and all that. So yeah, it's just pretty much a canine shape, bipedal canine shape. Not really much to say about it. Um, needs to be revamped, kind of made more interesting, maybe. Uh, the design is like the design between this new and old one are is remotely they're remotely the same, just better artwork. Yeah, they're they're pretty much the same, just better artwork and a few subtle changes that don't really matter much. I'm gonna move on to Blazing. Blazing is, mm, it's okay. Like just like I said, like a continuation bipedal canine like figure based off of volcanic remains, lava, magma, iron stuff like that. Um, it's original. It's oh, oh no. Okay, looks like we're going back at this again. Oh boy. All right. Original Zenchar. What the Okay, so the claws are conjoined together, which is okay, but they're not done right. They're not done like well enough. The snout is curvy and everything is okay, but again, the same same issue as always. Same kind of same kind of head shape is situation being curvy flabby body and no no semblance of it being actual like lava magma or anything it's just pure red no detail or anything this this poorly done goatee looking beard smoke beard that i added to it for some reason just the shading is bad highlights bad just ugh upgraded once and it looks 10 times better so i really like this it's good um it's kind of like a like there's not much i can't really say anything about it it's just cool i guess canine just can't bipedal canine shape not it's not based on anything specific like a specific creature or anything it's just volcanic remains but a can but with a canine is bipedal body and then I upgraded once more and oh wait well I can say I kind of like this one. I, well, I can say I like this one a little bit better just because of how certain aspects of it, just because of how certain things uh, are. Well, the the tip of the tail can be can still be like that, but something about the head and the, the neck brace around it and the eye. I think it's mainly because of the eye. Yes, yeah, because of the eye, it has the high, the highlight kind of takes it away, takes away from it a bit, and the eyes should be a bit bigger. Yeah, yeah, I like yeah, okay, yeah. The the second iteration is probably the best one, so I'll probably end up redoing the artwork again, but you never know. Now, Titanius, uh, Titanius is one like the the revamp. Like this is like uh, or this is a revamp, but. It is a revamp from around the sun and moon days, as you can see by how I did the ears and the ma the head shape and everything, because that's I got inspired by Silv Ally. So yeah, tight. So this one is mostly is kind of inspired by Silv Ally in the head and the ears and stuff. But the original ones, oh well, the original the original ones isn't here. But yeah, this is how it is currently. Um, it needs to be revamped. That's all I can really say. It's back on. Uh, is it's on all fours now which okay not much to say next up we have Otto the engineer Pokemon it's pretty much just like a, the, a knight helmet but with arms and legs kind of reminds me of kind of looks like Cacnea because of how the shape is and everything you can see that the circular shape is not really that circular because it's not it's going up around and it's, it's like a lopsided circle kind of deal so yeah, not much to say about it. It's I did videos for this for this, for Otto and its evolution, but oh yeah, here it is. Hold on, here's the here's the original version of Otto, cause oh my god, 
it it looks more as it looks more like a night helmet kind of deal now it only has the one arm because yeah um it had it has this which is like i don't i don't really remember what it was but it's like some kind of so it's like the soul kind of deal like this is supposed to be covered at all times so the soul doesn't leak out something like that like leak out completely at least so yeah Meanwhile, here it's just glowing because of the energy inside, kind of like gold lit and gold lurk. Like the energy inside of it that's powering it is trapped, is there. So yeah. Next up we have is evolution damage. Um, it's kind of weird. Like I didn't, I didn't, there's a mistake here since I didn't color the the plates, the lines for the plates and the holes and stuff. But yeah, other than that, it just it's okay it's just more of the same and it just looks like some, the there's no like real connection here it's just like something with like the screw head and the like uh the, yeah, the screw heads and never the screwdriver heads were just jammed into the arms without any kind of real pure connection and same same deal here for as for the pre evolute for the for his original iteration, um, they're just, they're remotely this they're kind of the same like the same pose and everything. I don't know why it's now elevated. I don't know why I did that, but this one had claw actual claws and this one just has tools. So yeah, I still don't know why it's elevated, but yeah. And next up we have Stablant. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Uh, I I colored it this time, but yeah, it's kind of like. Like a like a knight kind of statue deal, kind of like the Iron Maiden, in a sense, I guess. It's like the flamey wisps that's holding the screw heads and stuff, the screwdriver heads. It's weird. Um, needs to be redone, of course. Oh, and since I'm since we're here at Dayuno, um, I guess we're actually at the nearly the end, right? Because uh, Kilo actually ends at number four twelve. As long as it's if I'm remembering correctly, it ends at 412. So we're actually nearing the end. So we're gonna do Dayuno. Here's Dayuno. The picky Pokemon is based off of Yggdragosh, or I don't know, I probably butchered that, but Yggdragosh or something like that. But it's like the red dragon, the symbol of Welsh, like the red red dragon Welsh. Um, yeah, it's pretty much all it is. Like the long swirly tail and everything. Uh, the original one is pretty much just had the same. It just has a kind of like a a more muted color. Like well, mostly for the yellow, and like the yellow and reds here are more muted compared to the current one. And other than that, the the eyes are green and it has an eyebrow now. The fangs are no longer out. Pretty much the same. And one and one arm is not completely out. I guess. Um, it's all right. Needs a revamp. Moving on. Dadagosh. Dadagosh is uh, it's more sa it's more like hmm I guess they'll say sassy in a sense it's more like I, it's kind of hard to find I can't find the right word for it but it's more cunning more sassy more something like that and the original one more more fancy more like uh kind of trying to be vivacious that's what that's what I'm trying to say trying to be like trying to be like fancy and stuff like that uh, like those arrogant people like those arrogant rich people I guess and the original and the original version was pretty much just kind of generic kind of same kind of generic body and the shading was just straight across because of course it was same cur curly tail that ends in an arrow Mostly everything the same except for like the point like the colors and and Pretty much the thing around its neck is no longer a separate kind of thing This one's very this one's better, but it needs to be revamped again And we're gonna end this one off with this one off with Tribagosh uh, Like I said, this one's based off of Yggdragosh. So this one is pretty much the more Standard version, like you can see. Hold on, let's see. Id Gosh and or or just say Welsh Dragon. 
So yeah, you can see it's based off of this, but it's a lot simpler. It's not really special or interesting in the slightest. It's just a generic by it's a generic quadrupedal shape, which is a big. Uh, I need. I really need to re go through and redo this. And this is supposed to be the pseudo legendary. So yeah, I definitely need to change some stuff here. Um, the older version, if it's here, I think the older version is still quadrupedal as well. Yep, it is, but it's, it is, but it looks more, hmm, it is, but somehow it looks more interesting. I don't know why. Somehow this one looks more interesting and it's somehow, I don't know why, but this one's darker and everything. This one's more saturated. Same old, same old problems. But like I said, like this is the pseudo legendary. This is going to be the end of this episode. Um, the next episode is most likely going to be the last one because Kakanaz, we're going to start with Kakanaz, which is one of the first legendaries. So, yeah, we're going to we're gonna end it here. Thanks, y'all, for watching. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. We're almost close to the, we're close to the, we're pretty much ending our trek through Kilo in the next video. So, stay tuned, stay awesome, and Dark and Windy out.